On Sunday, Muhammad Ali would have been 79 years old, and in June of 2016, Ali died. I'll never forget these scenes on that day, that sun splash day. More than 100,000 people lined miles of streets across Louisville to thank the champ during his funeral possession as it moved through the city. Pure strangers hugging each other, holding each other's hands. In fact, that week, violent crime in our city nearly disappeared. And for the first time now, we are talking to the person who was his childhood friend, caregiver, and sister-in-law. You saw her in many of the photographs over the years. Now, WHAS 11's Shirlene Shanklin tells you her story. Muhammad's mother, Odessa Clay, and my mother, Marguerite Williams, were best friends. So their families were very close. As children, she looked up to him as a big brother, having no idea that years later she would call him her brother-in-law. Lonnie Ali is my big sister. Prior to working with family, she was a successful entrepreneur, owning her own salon and then worked at the Ford plant right here in Louisville. So when Lonnie was looking for someone to help with their business affairs and later assist Ali with his Parkinson diagnosis, Marilyn was the perfect choice to be his caregiver, while even some thought she was their bodyguard. I was his security because if you got close to Muhammad, you were in trouble if you weren't supposed to be there. I knew that I had to do the best I could do to take care of him. I had to be the best, and I had to be on it. And I knew this man. I knew him ever since I was a child, so I had to be on it. People always ask, could he speak after being diagnosed with Parkinson's? Muhammad could smile, and stars would just, his eyes would just sparkle. And he talked a lot with his eyes. He talked with his voice, his hands. He definitely got his message across. Anytime the champ could get home, he did. And Marilyn shared his fond memory. Muhammad loved Louisville. You say Louisville, if I was working and I said, I'm going on vacation, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Louisville. I want to go. <laughs> I wanted to know something about Ali people didn't know. Muhammad had a kind, loving heart. He saw nothing wrong with no one. Um, he would be with kings and queens, presidents, and then turn around and be with the poorest person on this earth or the sickest person on this earth. It didn't matter to him. He loved all. To see everything happening in Louisville, sometime even along the street that bears his name and across the country, how does this make you feel? I can't actually speak for Muhammad because Muhammad spoke for himself. But a few things that Muhammad taught me and was respect for all mankind. I had to ask, what would she miss the most? His eyes, his kindness. Um, his spirit, his spirit was so beautiful. To be around him, he gave you energy. Even if it was a gray day outside, he made the sun shine. I want the whole world to know that Louisville, Kentucky produces the greatest of all time. I told you her story, now I want to hear your story. Text me at 502-582-7290. I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News.